All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. I sat down to get my shad off this. I realized my shad is making it hard for y'all to see what's going on here. Uh, but we got this beautiful silo out here, and we got just a beautiful day to sit out here and paint. And, and you want to have fun, get your wife, get your kids, grab your canvas, grab some paint, make a picnic lunch. I don't know if y'all can hear all these birds singing right here behind us. But man, this is, this is living. This is the way to do it. We kind of established where our ridge line is going to be. I'm going to get some trees in here. And we'll have just trying to establish where everything's going to be there. Got one tall oak tree coming up like this, and this, this branches are up here at the top, and kind of back over here somewhere. And just trying to draw where this stuff is. Some more high trees back there behind it. And so we're just kind of working here. The silo is a little bit more impressive than that. I'm going to make it a little bit taller. I want that silo to be. I mean, this silo is what this painting's gonna be all about. So we just made it, so we just we just raised it up a little bit. A little bit wider. Because it is this, this is a massive, massive silo. Especially for this part of the country. It's sitting up north where you have the big grain silos and stuff. Is that more like it, Michael? Mm-hmm. Uh, now they got my tech, technical expertise back there in the back, so he tells me all about it. And uh, I just got the little ribs on the top of the shadow on there. Thing coming down the side. We've got the trees down here at the base. But we're just trying to draw something to carry back to the studio that we can maybe develop into a pretty neat little picture. Trees are in here. Darker trees there. I'll put some of the other trees in the background. And this is a whole field out here in front of us. And the way the field lays, there's a little road that's going to come off here. It just kind of come down and comes across this pasture a little bit and gets narrower as it goes and it's going to help us develop the shape that we're going to want to do. It drives on up around, goes behind this actually. So we're going to try to catch some of that. I do like that speed. So want that old road in there. And actually this still comes right here. We're going to have a couple of farm implements laying out here. You've got no disc here sitting out here. I'm gonna try to catch that. This is what they kill all this ground in here. A piece here and a piece here, a couple of rails. And I'm just using uh, some burnt skin and I do that. It's dark just so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to draw with it the implement pieces. Because you got a wheel. Oh, that's how I made a little wheel. Just put the brush on there, just turn it. There's the other wheel. There's the other wheel. Yeah, so we're putting disc on there. That's the actual disc. That worked out all right, didn't it? It's just learning to play with your brushes. Then you got the tire. This is the that actually moves everything around there. So we've got that in there. A little piece coming out the front. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not a farmer. I just think this whole farm equipment is pretty neat stuff that we need to do pictures of. So it's sitting out there in the field with some grass going up around, you know, by it. Push some grass up here. I want that road to disappear a little bit, so I'm going to push grass up in here, see. I trim it back. I'll put it on and move it around take it off, see. But in order, this, is, this grass is real dark green. That's what creates that. It gives us those little yellow flowers in there. We're going to have to have that. we got some little trees growing up on this side of the little shed. And, He's actually got no tractor parked in there, but we're too far away to actually try to catch all that. He's got all kinds of implements, and it'll be dark under here, uh, back up under there. He's got little diagonals. He's the building from moving. So we're just drawing. Let's see here. And it's always darker right down at the base, where the sun don't get down under all them trees. So we're doing different layers. This is working, you're working with one color, so you have to do some thin, some white, and that's what creates, it will give you some depth in here. Uh, got some bushes there beside it. Let's go down the road a little bit. Got a big old oak tree standing over here, just kind of, I don't know how this is going to work out. It's a, got a massive oak. It's about the same height as the, that's the biggest tree around here. What's the shape of that? Got that tree, that oak tree that comes just growing up through here, it's still on the top. Got one. Just a big old oak, got limbs coming out like this. And 
leaves are more out here. And we want to try to catch that effect. We've got some leaves hanging down here. So we're just trying to get the shapes where we want it to be. So we go back to the studio. I don't know where to put all this stuff. We want it real dark right under this oak tree down here with the bushes and the extra shrubs that are all around it. The normal size trees, which are a whole lot lower. The reason we want it dark is because there's a little beehive sitting in there. He raises bees. He's got a neat little square bee, which will actually be white in the painting, but that's where the beehive's going to be. I see that it's sitting on like a block or something. We've got a beehive there, and he's got two more kind of over here the side of it that are the taller hives. So we're going to put like several hives right here together. So we go back to the studio and we'll make those light colored, but that's where they're going to be. So we're just trying to catch, establish all this stuff in here. That is a neat looking little oak tree there. And that's going to be hard to do with this big old brush. But. And then you got the normal trees, that are the background trees, and they're lighter because they're in the background. It's darker down by the bottom. Push up some strokes for trunks every once in a while. Get your dark in there. Yeah, we might even have time to throw some color in on this one. Probably need to do it to get what we want to do. And so we're on a, like I said, it's a knoll, so we're kind of on a hill right here. And while the sun's coming, the light's hitting harder on that, so this kind of part's going to be kind of in the shadow on this side a little bit. Just grab some water in here. Let's get this ground laid out. Kind of chopped up where he's been mowing here. That's going to be our foreground. That's side of the road. It's got a lot of grass over here in this area. It's not mowed as neat. So we're going to push up some strokes over there. We're just trying to cover our canvas to get some effect of what we want this to be. Now see that I put on a while ago is already dried a little bit so it don't really come loose. But grass grows up so push some strokes up. Keep them real short because this is kind of a mowed thing. And learn to just play with your brush. Get to see what the different effects it makes. Make a little choppy strokes and talking to it. And we might even put a little rabbit down there by that or something. Never can tell while they end up this painting. So we're gonna have our hives, we got our house. We're gonna have this. Under there, the shed. We'll have some equipment, stuff back in there. Holes painted in here. I just keep going and picking and picking and playing, putting the things where I want it until we get to what we want it to be. Now, again, we got to establish our shadow side. Uh, we're going to get to work on a little more. Gonna, I'm going to throw some color in here in a minute. I'll tell you what, let me get some more color out of the, the box and we're going to see if we can't make this jump out a little bit. Y'all come. 